Every event has a budget which estimates how much money will be needed to organize the event. In this course, you will learn about the importance of an event budget, key components of an event budget, how to put an event budget together, and the importance of budgeting in calculating return on investment and return on objectives. While some event planners are good with numbers, others may find this process taunting. This course will put your mind at ease. You will see that as long as you have a good understanding of your event, putting a budget together for it and managing it will be a natural part of planning and managing process as long as you always keep the event budget in mind and think of ways of reducing the event cost where possible, if required. Before we start, we are going to define some key terms that will be used throughout this course. Revenue or income are used interchangeably in this course and refer to the money coming in from an event. Some examples of revenue sources for events include ticket sales, sponsorships, government funding, retail sales during an event or charitable donations. It's important to note that not all events have an income associated with them. For example, an event to launch a new product or brand would not have any direct income attributed to it. It would have other objectives, which we will discuss in one of the later videos. Costs or expenses are used interchangeably in this course and refer to the money that is spent in order to organize an event. Some examples of expenses include when you hire, F&B, staff cost, marketing and equipment hire. All events have costs associated with them. However, some event organizers may have these costs covered by sponsorships or partnerships. Profit is defined as a financial gain, particularly the difference between the amount earned and the amount spent in buying, operating or producing something. In simpler terms, profit is the money that is left over when something is sold after deducting all its costs. In events, profit is the difference between money spent on organizing the event and the revenue or income made from the event. We will see examples later in this course. An event is said to make a loss when the expenses are greater than the revenue. That is, more money was spent to organize the event than the money that was generated from the event. Whilst this is usually an indication that an event may not have performed well, some event organizers expect their events to make a loss. We will discuss this in more depth in the later videos. Stakeholders are defined as people who have an interest in or are impacted by something. In the context of an event, stakeholders can be any individuals or groups of people who have an interest in the event or may be impacted by it. For example, take an outdoor concert taking place in a public park. Key stakeholders would include event organizers, the performers, any sponsors and the attendees. In this example, residents of the area around the park and the general public are also stakeholders as they may be impacted by the event. For example, the residents may suffer noise pollution because of the concert. The residents and the general public may experience traffic in the surrounding area or restricted access to nearby roads. Understanding who your key stakeholders are their influence on the outcome of your event and how they may be impacted by your event are key in ensuring a successful event. Now let's go back to the event budget. The event budget is a document created and maintained by event planner. It is usually a table with two key sections, one for the estimated cost, that is money going out, and another for the estimated income, that is money coming in. The example shown here is for a simple ticketed event. In the example shown, do you think the event is making money or losing money? If you thought the event is losing money, you're right. Since the total cost is $21,000 and total income is $20,000, this means the event will make a loss of $1,000. That means the event organizers will be losing $1,000. Before you put an event budget together, you may want to use an existing budget template. Examples of these can be found in the resources section of this course. 